I think the key driver for the performance of U.S. markets is going to go back to technology. Certainly that's what had led us all the way up over the last couple of years, uh, really is what led the U.S. market down uh, and now back up. So I think that continues to be the bellwether. Uh, but now that valuation is certainly more attractive than they were at the beginning of October. We think they do look interesting. They do, even with a Fed that is still likely on a path toward higher rates, Daniel. Well, certainly that's the, the challenge that we're going to face. I mean, we've believed for a long time that the Fed was going to raise rates three to four times between now and the end of next year. And even with that view, still we're overweight risk assets. The concern is the market does not believe that. If you look at Fed funds futures, clearly uh, still quite skeptical about where interest rates are going to be at the end of the next year relative to what the Fed has said. So as the market comes to realize the Fed is going to do what it said it's going to do, uh, I think we're likely to see another bout of turbulence like we've just had. But ultimately, if that increase in rates is because growth is good, which we believe it is, that's going to be good for equities. Yeah, even at 3.25 or 3.5 percent on a 10-year, assuming we get there, Daniel? Uh, well, we think we certainly will by, you know, I think we, when we get into next year, I think we'll easily pass 325. Uh, you know, it's still relatively low real yield. Uh, inflation, we think, is going to stay contained. That's certainly very important in terms of our uh, kind of cautiously optimistic outlook. Uh, as long as inflation doesn't accelerate and the Fed doesn't have to hike more than it's already said, you've still got a relatively low real interest rate. Uh, certainly on the margin, when the real interest rate rises, that can create problems for equities in the short term. Uh, but we don't think we're at a level where it really poses a significant problem to the outlook for the U.S. stock market. Daniel